Lagos Ghana is different. Just like this African American man has this to say about Ghana. Let's watch this video together. And please, if you're just coming across this video for the first time, my name is UJ. The name of my channel is UJ TV, aka Mami Ekwa. We praise content about Africa. Welcome. Let's watch this video together. Then we'll come back and react on the video. When you go to Ghana, it's different. Like normally, when you go on a holiday, you might go to Dubai, you might go to America, you have a the time different, you might have a late night where it's 4 a.m. their time. You're like, oh, let me go to bed. Ghana, bro, 4 a.m., you're saying, where is the next spot? <laughs> That's what you're saying at 4 a.m. Then at 6 a.m., oh, people are saying, what, you got Ace? Jesus. All right, cool, let's go Ace. What's the other one? There's Ace. There's Front, a... back, play. No, there's another switch. one. Twist. Twist, so yeah. The, the, the two late ones are Ace or Twist. <laughs> but the people are, at 9 a.m., you're getting into the crowd, man, not on tables. <laughs> Starts at like this 9 so a.m. It's crazy. You, so you could sleep at like 10 a.m. Yeah, 10, it's crazy. 10, it's 11. called Dirty December, guys. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the truth about Ghana. If you're coming Ghana, just know you're not sleeping. You're not sleeping whatsoever. Your first location will probably be Polo Bar. You'll finish at 4 a.m. After that, you'll probably go to Ace at 5 a.m. After that, you'll probably go back to Polo Bar at 6 and you'll probably be at home by 9 a.m. This holiday, I've only had, let's say, 24 hours sleep out of 10, 10 days. We Ghana. Ghana. Hey, hey. Now I understand what you meant by the pressure is getting worse. <laughs> How the parties don't start to 12 a.m., 1 a.m., and you continue partying. 7 o'clock in the morning, the sun has risen. People are going to work while still out here partying. I'm tired. Even my wig is all tired. I need to go home. But I'll stay a little longer just to enjoy. And then go back to the Gero America. <laughs> I'm tired. This is a message to any black person worldwide. I think if you are going on vacation to Tulum and Cabo, that's great. But if you have an opportunity, a chance, a moment to visit Africa, Ghana, Lagos, Tanzania, Ethiopia, then you should take that chance. There's nothing like being surrounded by black people, understanding your culture, feeling welcome, feeling safe. It's nothing like what America will teach you that it is. It's nothing that what we learned about is. It's better, it's bigger, it's beautiful, the people are kind. So I encourage you to go understand your roots, find your people, and love them the way that they would love you. I moved to Ghana six months ago from Washington, D.C., and the way I've been raving about Ghana, you would think that the Ghana Tourism Board has me on commission. Ghana! <laughs> See, a lot of African Americans, whenever they come to here to Ghana, it's as if Ghana is just like a new, like a different, you know, a different country entirely. You know, Ghana is built differently. The way people see Ghana is actually what I do not understand, especially the African American people. When they come down here to Ghana, they'll be like, wow, Ghana, Aden, what is happening here? Why is Ghana like this? You know, a lot of them, they get surprised that you know, they don't get to live this kind of life here in America or in the UK. All they do there, all their life is work, 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 and work. You know, no resting. So when they come here to Ghana, the death of December, they have a lot of vibes, vibes upon vibes. The kind of vibes they experience here, the kind of, you know, the enjoyments they experience here in Ghana, they cannot explain it. They cannot explain as a... It is not, oh God, it is unexplainable, you know, the kind of vibe to get here in Ghana, it is something that they do not get to experience whenever they're in UK, let me just put it this way, because here in Ghana, it is, you don't sleep, to be very truthful with you, 12 a.m. in the midnight, people are out there, 1 p.m., 1 a.m. at night, very early in the morning, people are out there, still doing their businesses, Still going clubbing, people are there as living the best life, you know. To show you that the country is so secure, people here are, you know, people here are free spirited people. They don't go about looking for who to devour at night. No, they don't go about looking for who to know. Let me go and stay one corner and look for someone to hijack their things. No, people are living their life freely. People are living their life here in Ghana happily without interfering in anyone's business. What I like about Ghana is that everybody's minding their business. Everybody and then day or day, make I do my day. 
Eh? Everybody is just on their levels, on their lane, not looking for someone's trouble. Unless you look for a Ghana man trouble, they will show you two times of it. So African Americans, when they come down here to Ghana, when they experience the life in Osu, the nice life in Osu, the Ace Club, they experience the people of Ghana, they experience, you know, Oxford Street at night, they go to clubbings, you know, they get most of them, they say, I'm tired. <laughs> most of them get tired of the good life here. And that is the reason why every dirty December, you get to see a lot of people coming down and we are in Imba, this is September, we are in the Imba, Ember month, Ember month, September, October, November, December, we have just three months to December and people are already planning to come down here to Ghana to come and experience the dirty, the dirty, dirty December. So I want to get to my next address, let's take a look at this video and see what this person has to say about Ghana and the dirty December, then we'll come back and we ask other people. If you're thinking of where to go to for a quick fun trip that you'd actually relax, Ghana is the way to go. Oh my god, I had so much fun in Ghana. I went for a four day trip with my girls, Leanne and Susan, and I booked a hotel called The Venue Boutique Hotel. This was just me showing the view of Ghana. It was so neat. All you was giving everything, like all the local things you needed, like everything. I, I saw Wachi, I saw. Um, banku and tilapia. I was like, oh my god, yes, I was going to have that. So I had banku and tilapia, and oh my god, it was nice. It was. I couldn't finish the two wraps, so don't think I ate that. But yeah. Next So guys, we've heard from those African Americans, they have a whole lot of experiences to share whenever they visit Ghana. I don't know about you. If you've not experienced this in December here in Ghana, you need to come down here and experience it because there is a whole lot. There is something you need to experience here. And I tell people, don't vacation, don't go to don't go abroad for vacation, don't go to Maldives for vacation, don't go to Qatar, Dubai for vacation, come to Ghana. There is a lot you need to see here in Ghana. And they have different people that go as in that, that tourists, you know. They have different people that will tour you around Ghana, check out people that create content. I am not a tour guide because I don't have the chance to take people out to tour them around Ghana because I am so occupied. But I can recommend people that are tour guide that can tour you around Ghana whenever you come to Ghana. You will see they will tour you around and you'll be very, very safe. No one you see Ghana as a country, it's one of the safest countries in Africa. So don't be scared that when you come to Ghana, someone is going to my stores. You know what is going to do that, you know. Just calm your budget down and explore Ghana the way you want to. Just hold money. Hold a lot of money if you're a tourist here in Ghana. And people that are going to tour you around Ghana and show you the beauty of Ghana. Thank you for always watching my videos. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like this. Subscribe, like, comment and share. A lot of you have been watching my videos. You do not subscribe. You do not like. It's not even a comment. Please drop your comments, like, and share. Please help me share this video so that many other people can watch and enjoy this video. Thank you for always watching. See you in my next video. Bye.